presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Halloween's coming up, folks, this weekend. Make sure you get some good candy for those kids. Get those big bars. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 103, NASDAQ is up 38, SP is up 19, gold contract down $11.60, trading at $17.95 an ounce. We got silver. Where are you, Silver? Silver's down 38 cents, $24, 21 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 81 cents, $84, 57 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year up one tick, trading 130.19. The 30 year up 15 ticks, or half a point at 159 flat and King Dollar. King Dollar is uh, up 127 ticks, trading 93,940. Euro is at 115. The yen is at 114.15, and the British pound's at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's go take, uh, we'll put the futures up first. We're, we're at highs. Uh, the futures hit 45.90 today. You know, you're 13 points off the futures. That's not a big deal at all because the bottom line is you're at all-time highs up here. We take a look at the SPY. SPY, of course, the same setup. If the S&Ps are, futures are up, the SPY is going to be up. Um, and we'll see whether this can uh, basically hold price. It's up a buck 60 right now, trading 457.230. The NQs, different ball game now. This is going to get really interesting coming into this close, and this is why. So the NQs... Hit an all-time high today, 57, 15,701. And inside of the, the futures, uh, 15,702.25 was the high. Bottom line, tested it, rejected it. And then if we go to the Qs, you're going to see the same rejection. The, the Qs are pretty amazing. The Qs, folks, hit the exact number, 382.71. You know, so how we close here is going to be a big deal. Uh, you are going to have more volume than the last high, but there's not, the last high, the volume was contracted so dramatically. This is still, it wouldn't be light volume, okay, but it's decent volume. It's not the type of volume that you, you normally would have. Now, that being said, check this out, because this is really, we get some divergence here, and this is what it is. So, when we take a look at the... Q's. I talk a lot about ABC structures on the way up or the way down, right? Well, what's, what's happening with the Q's is that we do have an ABC structure on the way up, okay? That being said, however, the definition of an ABC structure on the way up is that you go up with volume, you pull back with light volume, you go up with volume again, right? Well, this one here is, is a really hard one to decipher. That's the, that's the real bottom line, and this is why. So, you, you had, if we go back to last Thursday, you had a high that was established at 377.47, uh, okay? 
Then you came down with 36 million. And then you took it out with 32. So the real question is, is that do we have an ABC structure up or don't we? I wish I knew that answer, folks. <laughs> That's the real bottom line. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm bringing this through to you so you can kind of make your own decision out here, okay? Um, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. M my take, personally, is that if we do fail out here, you're going to go right back downtown. And what will end up happening, this is a monster consolidation. It failed the high of the consolidation, it'll come back down to the lower part of the consolidation, which still has a high volume low laying out here at 305.32. Gold, gold contract out here was down 20 bucks. The bottom line now, you're down 1170. You, you back down with light volume. Gold wants higher price, man. We've done uh, 191,000 contracts. I think we're coming into 300,000 contracts. There's a lot of buyers out here, man. Yeah, you're coming into 313,000 contracts. Uh, you got into the low, which is the 1783. You rejected it, you're at 1795. This one's higher price. The XAU and the HUY, by the way, they're both in ABC structures on the way up. Uh, you, you've taken out the B point, you took them out with volume. Bottom line, that's saying that gold, silver, equities, they're going to higher price. Notes and bonds. Now, this one's going to get interesting because you can see. The note and bond market has been trying to get off the lows. The real question is, we'll see whether it gets any juice off the lows. It's the bottom of its consolidation. That's the, that's the real bottom line. Um, and we'll see whether it gets any juice going. You know, it, this has been a one-way move down now for three months. Since August 4th, what we have had is that you have had notes as well as bonds go to lower price, higher yield. Right now, the 10-year is trading at 1.617. And then if we go to King Dollar, King Dollar is fighting over 73, 729 in a monster way. Right now we're above it again. Uh, you went below it yesterday. You got above it. Right now we are 200 ticks above it. You're at 93, 946. And some of the higher volume equities out here today in, in this market, you have, uh, let's see, a couple of these are down big, man. Well, Facebook. We'll talk about Facebook. Yeah, let's say we're talking about Facebook right now. We got plenty of time. Facebook, folks, is in a monster ABC structure on the way down. It's a beauty too. Uh, you, you're blowing away the B point. You're blowing away volume. I think it's like a 287 right now. You, you, so 383 is your A. Your B is 317. So 20, 63, 66 bucks approximately. Yeah, it gets you somewhere into 280. So I think it's 287. Uh, this is breaking a B point today. Breaking it with volume. Uh, bottom line wants lower price. TWTR, Twitter is going to be coming out with their numbers uh, after the close today. That's the 26, right? Yeah. So that's trading 61,440. And this baby here, let's see how this is set up. Yeah, same thing. This got a high volume low too. So this, this baby looks like it wants to go down to 52. And right now you're at 61,45. 877 We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 97. We get the NASDAQ up 30. S&P's up 17. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 111. We get the Nasdaq up 35. S&Ps are up 19. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter. His newsletter, folks, is the opening call. It's very easy to get. The way you get it, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the featured content, the opening call. And inside the opening call, Basil has just done a webinar, folks, okay? So you're going to get a lot of great content. And this is up-to-date content. So you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You get it for a year for $1195, which you save almost $600. $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom line is you go get them. You're going to get a great newsletter. You're going to get a bunch of great archives, including one that was just done, I believe, last Wednesday or Tuesday. Um, and what that archive is all about is what is going on right here, right now. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is we've got new record highs. Yeah. Isn't that something? But you know what's interesting? You uh, there, were, there were a lot of things that you were talking about uh, a few moments ago, which I, I, I think I'll, I'll follow up on because they were really good points. What I w want you to quickly show is, look, you remember we had discussed this some time ago. We said it's interesting that the IYT, the iShares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund, had been there had been such a huge divergence. It made an all-time high back in May at the 287 level, and then it dropped down to the 240s. I mean, that's that's a pretty big move, and that was a divergence as the Dow was really close to an all-time high. So Dow theory basically says um, when you confirm a new all-time high in the Dow, okay. if you have the IY, if you have the transportation I index. Um, also doing that, that's just a really good, actually there's some more complicated ways of looking at it. I used to always think of it as just, it's really nice to see, but so often that it happened over the decades, it was close to where the market was about to turn down. So I didn't ever treat it as Dow theory per se, but it's just, a, it's a nice way of looking at the market to say, well, if the whole area of transportation, of course, in the old days, they were really talking about rails and then they started talking about trucks, but it isn't anything as complex as it is today, um, that it was really very important. But it's nice to see this rally from 241 uh, back in mid-September to today's high of 272, it actually hit 274, 
in the transportation index. I just wanted to point out that that is a good sign. So this is Basil, such a fascinating. Yes. You know what's interesting about this? So check this out, man. I mean, this is wild, folks. All of us, I'd say that, you know, we think they, you know, things have changed over the course of years, right? Because remember, I mean, you and I talked about this like almost four or five years ago, okay? Yes. But guess what? Now transportation is the biggest thing out here. I mean, we, right? You see what I'm saying? That's like, okay, yeah. if we don't have transportation, we don't have anything. So it's like, man, Nothing, you right. know, that gets really intriguing, man. I mean, you know. And yet, it's not the rails anymore. Now it's the trucks. Yes. In fact, it's not only that. We have to include shipping, but shipping's not part of this. It's air freight, which is. But the shippers are the ones that are holding all this cargo. In fact, in 1973, three or four, something like that. Uh, my wife and I and our, our son, it must have been a little later than that, were on our way to South Africa. And I decided that instead of going as directly as possible with a, with a, a, a young child, yeah. it'll be good to stop as many times as I don't know what was in my mind, as many times as possible. So we went Pan Am. It was like taking, you know, when, you, when you're on the highway, but you might make a mistake, and then you'll end up going on that main road through all the towns oh to the God. same place. Yes. So anyway, we stop. And on the way there, on the on the uh, Gulf Coast of, uh, that's the Gold Coast of, of Africa, that's that bulge that comes yeah. out on the west side. That's Ghana, I, that's, yeah, right? Okay. okay, so I'm looking out the window. I love, always, I, lo I love window seats. I always like to look at the clouds and everything else. And I'm looking down, and I, I you know, Route 128, uh, it's now 95. The road from uh, hell, yes. A road from hell. So that's our highway. That, that's, it's like a, a cup formation around the, from the coast, the north coast to the south coast in the Boston area, the greater Boston area. Well, that can be hellish. So I'm looking out the window, and I look, and I see all these tankers, and it looks like 128. Oh, yeah. And what was it? That was the oil crisis. And what happened is a number of these African countries had decided they'd made so much money that they were going to build and build and build, but they forgot that you needed the docks. So wow. in the preparation, they needed all that concrete. They had to blow up some of those tankers because they had concrete in the holes that had been there for three, four, five months. So That's anyway. crazy. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. So now we've got the same thing except the shippers. Uh, it's a it's a a different problem, right? Uh, but we've got the shippers out there, so that's going to take a little while. So when I saw this IYT, I thought, hey, that that is a good sign. But what I wanted to say is, you were talking about the coincidence of, say, the QQQ. Yes. Going to almost, I always say parallel when you go horizontal. Fund managers remember the previous price. What really intrigues me is when we get the horiz when we get the diagonal channel, how, how prices keep bumping into uh, into a price and then get reversed. So we're only in leg C in the Chapman wave in the QQQs. There should be a pullback, and that coincides with the S and P in the daily chart. That's leg C, and in the Chapman wave, we're always looking in a buy mode to get to at least the peak D. So that says we're getting close. There should be a pullback for a peak C over the next day or two, and then there should be a leg D, and that's where we start to analyze and say, okay, is this where we start to see uh, a deeper pullback rather than just a, a minor daily pullback? So we're not there yet, yet the Dow is in leg D. So we've got a little divergence there. The Dow's a little bit ahead in the notation. We are still long for subscribers to my opening call. Long from starting from the low of last year, March the 23rd. Then we got the diamonds uh, a little later uh, on the fourth, uh, the third of April. We've still got core position there. We've we've taken some profits off, but we also have short term. The last one was at 35,000 about uh, eight, eight, about nine sessions ago. So we've still got that long position. So this is very interesting because we've got us look the man D strong, the stochastic is flat at 96%, on balance volume is lagging, so that has room to, to, to go to the upside. So it's just fascinating to me because my gut is saying, God, we've got to have a pullback, we've got to have a pullback. But the tactical side of me says, no, just stay, stay on plan, wait for all these different uh, events to unfold. And my suspicion is, at this particular point, it's going to have to be some economic bad news because any news that comes out if the market just like a water of a duck's back if the market just ignores it the market just the, the buoyancy of the market is very strong so it'll have to be something very negative when we got that last sell-off back from the august 16th high in the dow 35,631 we had quite a number of events that really worried the market but it really only went down 2,000 points
So it took time rather than price. I like to look at markets corrections as you can either have time, which just goes sideways in a kind of a rectangle formation and then breaks to a new high, or you can have price where it suddenly drops very sharply and then comes back, or you can have a mix of time and price. So in this particular case, it wasn't so much price, it was more time, and now we've broken to new highs. What happens next? I, I really think it has to be some kind of economic situation that the market just suddenly starts to worry about. In the meantime, well, so I, I far we're you, staying long. You know, in, in, in great roundup, no doubt. And, you know, we got Boeing tomorrow morning. And for the right. Dow Industrials, Boeing better do something, man, because Boeing's right at the lower end of its uh, consolidation. So it's going to be interesting Correct. here, yes. man. Listen, folks, real easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content, the opening call. Look forward to the show tomorrow, Basil. Thank you, Tom. Have Thank a great you. evening. Stay right there, Are folks. you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 80, uh, 87. NASDAQ is up 19. S&Ps are up 15. Hey, uh, let's go look at Boeing. Because uh, when I was just speaking with Basil, I want to show you what we're looking at here. And, you know, so Boeing's had a problem period, okay, for a long period of time. And now what you have is this. Okay, so you can see this high volume low from three months ago at 204. We're at 209. And what you have here, folks, is that you have volume expanding. You know, you made a high out here two weeks ago with uh, 7.2 million. You're making lows with 9.6. So that's telling me, number one, you're going to bust this low. That being said, and we put this in a weekly, you're going to see if you bust this low, uh, you can do some real damage, man. Let me put this back. Uh, there we go. I have to change that chart. 
So the damage that you can have here uh, in Boeing is pretty extensive because what you have when we bring this back, what you're going to see is that what Boeing still hasn't done, you know, is that you have got back inside that 234. That's a problem, man. That means it can get out of 166. Yeah. You know, we'll see where this baby shakes out. It comes out before the uh, open tomorrow. And if you, uh, uh, we, we, we had um, Lockheed Martin. This is like pretty intense, man. Uh, Lockheed Martin, the low for the year is 319. The high is 396. They came out with numbers today. Uh, numbers go like this. They came out with a 16 billion to the top line. Uh, who knows what happened here? Two dollars and twenty-one cents to the bottom line. Okay, so the bottom, yeah, they they basically you know blew it. When you are talking about um, missing sales cast, uh, and we're talking about so the net sales, uh, the estimate folks was seventeen point one four billion. Well, they came in at sixteen point zero three billion. The I, the reason I, I suspect that they killed the stock so dramatically is that. Lockheed Martin is a monster contractor for the government. So when you know the green checks are coming, um, it's very unusual that you are going to get a miss of over $1.1 billion. Okay? That, that's the real bottom line. And they smoked it, man. I mean, when you, we t you talk about getting taken out to the woodshed and basically getting a beaten. This one has it in spades. So let's see where we think we're going now. Because you don't get a one-day deal with this. That, that's, that's the real bottom line on something that gets destroyed this dramatically. So we are down right now. We're trading down $46. Now, the picture this. This closed yesterday. I mean, I'd hate to wake up in the morning like something like this. It closed at $378. It opened at $348 and went down to $330. We put this, we'll take this on a weekly first, and let's see what we're going into. Okay, so this is a monster problem here, man. You're already, you're, already you're, you're, you're going into the swing point. You're going to have more volume in the swing. What game, what's game now is 266, man. 266 is game. It's a high volume low that has not been tested. So there's, you know, there's, there's, there's some problems there. And I think what happens, I don't think Lockheed Martin's in the Dow Industrials. That's why the Dow is not, if, they, if that was in the Dow Industrials, Lockheed, they'd be getting smoke. Yeah, it's not. So uh, the biggest mover inside the Dow, and that's why I was talking with Basil about Boeing. Boeing has a huge weighting inside the Dow. You can see that Boeing right now is only off, what, a couple points. And it's putting... Uh, yeah, we're only down three dollars in Boeing, and Boeing's putting 20 negative points into the Dow. Caterpillar 12, Visa 50, uh, 11. Putting positive points into the Dow. You have United Health 51, Goldman 20, 21, Procter and Gamble 14. If we go inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. The strength is Nvidia. Oh, look at this. This is a, this was up 13 percent this morning. Okay, so NVIDIA right now is up 6.7%. You're trading, I couldn't have been up that much. Maybe it's up 10. Uh, you're trading up 15 bucks at 247. You get Cadence Design. Oh, I'm so glad for Jose, man. This is freaking awesome. He's owned the stock forever. I think he used to work for this. Oh, his girlfriend worked for it. That's what it was. That's right. So Cadence come out, did what it's supposed to do. Bottom line, nice, nice setup, man. Blowing away its highs. Okay, so let's see. Who else is there? Okay, so... Regeneron's up 2.9, and CrowdStrike is up 2.6. Uh, taken away from it. You got Pinduoduo down 7.5%. Facebook is off 4.5%. Baidu is off 4%. And NetEase is up off 3.4%. So we are talking some big numbers. We got to go to Tesla, the richest man in the world. Uh, Tesla hit a high out here today. Look at this man. Oh, my God. This is wild, man. So Tesla hit a high of 1,094 today, and right now you're trading at 1,022. Uh, you know, I suspect that we're going to start backing off. I mean, that, that's going to be a rejection of higher price. <laughs> it's about time, man. I mean, Tesla in five days, one, two, no, in four days, have gone from 855 up to that, nine, that uh, 1,094.
Uh, huge, huge number. There, there's no doubt about it. Uh, if we take a look at the, uh, this is this gets sad too. Let's see, where am I on? Let's see if I can get this quick. What, what was the name of that? Let's see if I can do it in the most valuable. I mean, the uh, higher stocks. Let me see what we have here. So, yeah, I'm looking for this. For oh, there it is. So Trump's spark. Um, you talk. You talk about the amount of money that basically has already been lost. There's going to be a lot more money than this loss too. This is this is you know we talked about this folks, but this is like so bizarre. It's unbelievable. So you had Digital World. You know, bottom line was trading on Thursday or Wednesday at nine dollars and ninety five cents. It the way Sparks work, folks, they're ten dollar deals. That's the bottom line. And that's all they're worth is ten dollars until you buy someone else. They, they haven't even bought someone else yet, but they're gonna do the deal. Bottom line goes all the way up to $175. Right now, you're at 58, and you know, you're gonna see this right back to ten dollars, man. I mean, that's that's how these things go. And unfortunately, um, you know. Hopefully, the, the folks that have been buying it at a, at a higher price, um, hopefully they had a stop in, man. You know, because if they didn't have a stop in, it's a problem child in a monster way. Well, that'll get you broke. $160 to 60 Yeah, that's, that's the quickest way to go broke uh, in a monster way. We got to take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at the GDX, okay? So the GDX inside the, the gold market, what we have, that is rejected. Oh, it's a nice setup, man. We got an ABC structure up on the GDX. Plus, you just came back into its strength from Friday. You only have 12 million shares versus 29 million. We're going higher, man. That's the bottom line. ARQQ, let's see what this is. This is gonna be, I think, one of the ETFs. No, it's not. Okay, so this is a, oh, this is another SPOC. Okay, so this is a, this is a SPOC that's trading at 22. Let me just look at this. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. The low is eight dollars, the high is forty one. This is up a buck ninety nine. <laughs> I'm I'm hitting the revenue and there's no revenue. Yeah, these these are a joke, man. This this is um I I'll definitely take a look at this. Um Yeah, this doesn't have to go back to the highs of 41. You're at 22. I, I know why you want to take a look at it, okay? So it started out at $8. It only took three weeks to get up to 41. You're back to 21. This thing is going to go back all the way probably to 10 bucks. Yeah. You, you, you got to wrap your head around how these work and what they're actually worth. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading um, up 70. You get the NASDAQ. Up 26, S&Ps are up 16, so let's go take a look at a few of these uh, copper stocks out here. Uh, we'll start with the, uh, where am I, man? Where, where are you? SCCO, let's see. So this is the largest copper stock in the world, uh, Southern Copper. This is trading right now. The low is 49, the high is 83. This is within a year. They pay a 6.2% dividend. Okay, so you, what you're doing here is you're building cars for higher price. Um, this is a nice setup, man. Okay, so it's going to take some juice. Now, this is a great stock to look at, folks, to see what it takes to get by some, you know, heavy resistance. This has been in a consolidation for a long period of time. The high of that consolidation is $67.75, but I love how it pulled into it, man. You see how it pushed that, that into it? That's what you're looking for. Now you're going sideways. What I expect you'll probably get, you'll get another surge. You'll get another sign of strength, and that thing will blow away. And it may come with the earnings. They're coming out with numbers after the close on November 9th. Tseco, TGB. This is a personality stock. Huge amount of copper, though. There's no two ways about that. Uh, this baby here. Okay, so you don't have an ABC up. Let me put this on a weekly. So on a weekly basis right here, oh, this is nice. It has a high volume high, man. Okay, so when you always have, when you get a high volume high, it's always cool, folks. That's the real bottom line. Um, and you're 267. It, this is going to go after the high volume high. The real question is going to be, you know, as it gets, it, it's built. You can see it's building cause right now for the downdraft that was created out here on the uh, the week of the 18th of uh, June. The high of that is 241, you're 229. It'll, it'll take some more building costs to get through that. Once you're through it, though, you go test that uh, baby out there. And then uh, Freeport Mac Marine, I believe, right? Yeah, FCX. Uh, FC, FCX has the most juice of all of these out here. When I was looking at this this morning, um, this also, this is doing the same thing, meaning it wants to get above the consolidation. And the top of this consolidation is 39.20. We hit 39.44 today, you're at 39.04. Bottom line, you might have to do a little more cause building in order to get through that area. They are coming out with their, they're not coming out with their numbers, okay, till the 16th of uh, January, because they've already been out. So now let's go look at the copper market, because that is what's driving those three equities there. And Freeport Mac Moran's uh, deal, it's, it's copper and gold. Uh, okay, so we take a look at copper. Copper is trading 4.49. You're down three dollars. That's three dollars. Three, three and a half pennies. Three, three point five zero, and you're down with light volume. This is a good setup, man. Yeah. So we came down on uh, Friday uh, to 4.6610. You did it with uh, 88,000 contracts. You only got 56,000. That is also a building cost for higher price, and that's what keeps bringing me back, folks, to this good old U.S. dollar. Because the dollar, what you have here, this has been battling that, that 93,729 area. We're 200 ticks over it right now. Um, if the dollar basically gets under that level, then all these commodities are going to go a lot higher. That's how it's basically, 
you know, and oil, guess what? Oil is the leader in a monster way too. If we take a look at this contract here, you're gonna see that we reached 8488 today. You've done 448,000 contracts. I think we've been banging out about 500,000. Oh, see, it's good though. That, that was, it hit a low first. Unreal. This, is, this wants a lot higher price. Yeah, see what happened here yesterday? We were talking about this. So yesterday, you had a high with 560,000 contracts. Today, what we did, you rejected $82.97. And see how you're going to have lighter volume? This, this could be very, man, this would be crazy. This could be another ABC structure on the way up, folks. It's been a one-way move, man. I mean, since 61, you know, up to these levels. Uh, but bottom line is that the way that is trading right now, you know, $100 is game. That's, that's how this is shaking out. So we'll uh, just see where this baby goes. Okay, so who else is coming out with numbers today? My, oh, let's go to Microsoft. Okay, so Microsoft, this is definitely going to move the NDX 100. There's just a large waiting structure inside the NDX. Uh, they hit all-time highs today, $312.39. They are looking to take in, let's see, they're looking to take in $43 billion, $43.9 billion, and bring $2 to the bottom line. You know what's amazing here? Look at this, folks. That Microsoft, you know, I mean, there's hardly any time you can look back in the last 40 years and Microsoft hasn't been just a great company. And in the last five years, Microsoft has doubled their gross as well as the, what they bring to the bottom line. Doubled. Okay. Five years ago, they did $22.3 billion uh, or $96 billion per year. This time, this, they're doing $191 billion. 191 billion, and they're bringing eight dollars and seventy cents to the bottom line. Now look, look at this cloud service, man. The cloud service they're taking in 60 billion. Personal computer 54, and productivity um, and business something another 53. Those are some big numbers, man. So the cloud's still growing at uh, seven and a half percent a year. The personal computing is growing by three, 2.75 and productivity and business is growing by uh, five. Let's go to Al in Homo Sasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Not much, just uh, reading your gold report and seeing uh, some of the uh, equities that you are recommended. People need to get the report if they want to make some money on this gold move. Well, what are we gonna look at today? IPI. I I, 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 P is in Paul or B and boy? Oh, P is in Paul. Cool. Okay, right. so let's take a look here. Oh, oh, intrepid potash. You're always all over there. You're, that's, that's a beautiful thing, man. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is the potash business, folks. And they can go up fast, man. Uh, meaning yeah, on prices. It's, uh, it's an ingredient that has to be used in uh, fertilizer for your yes, people to know. No doubt. So the low is uh, 875. The high is 52.85. It's trading at 49.30 right now. And look at this, man. Yep. You get, you get volume. You get everything happening. And what, what does happen, folks, is that these companies, the, it, it blows my mind how fast they can go up on prices. Yeah, you're at 49. This looks like it's going to go after that's 53, man. The 53 is there. And if you, you know, if you break this area, then you're going to really have some action now because look at this, man. Okay, I got to get this on my radar. So what's going on here is this, folks. This keeps bumping in. Like, I got this on a monthly. And this has been bumping into the top of the consolidation. It hasn't been able to take it out. But see the, the amount of volume that's pushing in? I think this is going to yep. take it out, man, and it takes it out, man. You get some monster numbers here, man. I mean, if it takes it out, this thing wants to go up another 50 bucks, man. Yeah, see, the, the nice thing with IPI, MOS, and CF is they basically control their price because they're the only ones doing this stuff. Right. And um, they can set their own price for what they want for the, uh, their product. So that makes a big difference. No, it absolutely does, man. Well, listen, man, uh, I appreciate you calling, man. Appreciate you giving us that stock. We're going to keep an eye on it, Al. Okay. Thanks, man. Have a great Thank one. You. Have a safe Bye -bye. one. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 75, NASDAQ's up 28, S&P's up 15. We're going to be coming right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 60. You got the Nasdaq up 19. S&P's up 20, up 12 and a half. And hey, man, I appreciate it. Okay. It's not potash. It's potash. You know what? I always do that, man. You know what happens, folks? This is, this is, this is, this is how I've learned all my life. This is crazy, man. I know. I, trust me. I got to see. So, see, it's great I'm into charts because even since I was a kid, I have to see something, then I have to hear it. And evidently, the first time that, that I heard potash, it was potash. Either that or I just said it. Bottom line, I, I appreciate it, though. So I won't forget it. Maybe. We'll see. Potash. Potash is the number. And Mosaic. Mosaic, uh, I believe that is running, too. I and mean, uh, you got MOS. This is uh, the low 16, the highs 43. Yeah, this is a 41.95 right now. Um, we, we are going to see, folks. Uh, this is... You know, uh, we've talked about this already. My take on this thing, if you're trying to do projects, you're trying to do anything else, add 30% to the project, folks. That's the bottom line. If you add 30%, you're, you're going to come in with, it's probably going to cost. Because um, they, the aspect that they claim inflation's not out here, man, I, they're in a whole nother moon, in a whole nother um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> atmosphere for sure okay they are not in the, the united states of america or in fact in this world in general because because the, the bottom line is that uh 
This is raging. It's just not up a bit. It is absolutely raging. I just got a quote today, so check this out. I get a quote today on, I, when I insulate the houses, I do a blow in, so there's, you get the installations on the side, then I blow in the, so it's a full tight thing. Bottom line, 30% higher. I'm saying to the guys, I'm, I'm talking, I says, okay, so what costs you more money? Everything's cost us more money. Okay, 30%, 30%, man, that's sick. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Lots of numbers coming out after the close. We're going to have some fun. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. He kicks us off. Great show. You want to understand the markets? Check him out, 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we'll get him, folks. Building 